It's time to explore! Ooh! A stick and two dollars! What a discovery! Open world games are truly amazing! Hello everybody, I'm Lucas and welcome back to my channel. And we're going to continue our Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play. Blind Let's Play, yes. I always forget that. And this is episode four. I don't have a chapter name for it yet. Let's go. You teach me and I'll teach you. <laughs> Alright. If you're fresh off the heels of my previous stream, you know that we had just taken on our first Alpha Pokemon. And now we have to go report it. I am still a little bit out of touch on things. Alright. Let's go. There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realized you're wasting all my Sinnoh's special time by bowing to a sham. Oh. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as the ruler of time. People follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ah, uh, okay. I see what's going on. So they believe that Sinnoh is one of the two, time or space, Palkia or, or Dialga. And they can't decide who we are my Sinnoh is when, in actuality, it's Arceus. <sighs> I, I don't get involved in the religious debates. Who should I support? Diamond or Pearl? <laughs> I that's gonna be a tough choice. Ha! You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make a vast Hasui space? <laughs> better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time. Oh, my leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you got lost in the pointlessly vast spaces of Vonda and never show up. <laughs> Me? Get lost? In all my Sinnoh's great gift to the, <laughs> to the Pearl Clan? In your world's very ba basis? You wish. <laughs> I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty oh, Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Komondo's office. I believe it was you who started this. Well, to be fair, she's right. Yeah, he did. <laughs> you can feel the tension when those two show up. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to pick between one of them, aren't I? Let's see. If I had to pick, just between Pokemon-wise, if I had to pick between Palkia or Dialga, I would pick Dialga. Because I like blue. <laughs> you haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is... Irita? Or is that an L? Irinda. Uh, no. Irinda, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who's going on about, on and on about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. 
Hmm. I actually heard a rumor from a friend that I should be on the lookout for things like that. Little quests. Because he, he said I'd get a special gift if I managed to find it. I'm worried that if I miss it. Oh, Survey Corps boy. I was just heading out to the Fieldlands to go gather tumble stones. But I haven't gotten as many orange berries as I'd like. Are you familiar with orange berries? They restore some HP to Pokemon to eat them. So, as you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see where I'm going with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I see. You, you want me to get you orange berries. Okay. Five isn't too bad. I can probably just give them now. Yeah, I got 19. Yep, here you go. I'm gonna gratefully accept. Gosh, you can't. I can't believe you went to the trouble of finding these for me. They were in my back pocket. <laughs> uh, <laughs> happy to help! Thank you. Gosh, you're such a nice person who fell out of the sky. Let's tuck these away in my satchel. I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck finding those tumble stones. Mission complete! Ooh, and I got three revives. Excellent. Because I used two of them in the last stream. Whew. Alright. Uh, map. I forgot to check the map if it... Oh, it does actually show new quests. Let me use a quick... There we go. That'll save time. Woo. Ah, here we are. I, I'm still on the hunt for a giant iron weasel. Uh, let's see, um... <laughs> <coughs> Listen here, Survey Court kid. I saw the darnest thing. I was scourging the heartwood for crops. We, we could grow in the fields there when I saw it. I spoke him called Charon, changing its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the Eden. The light was getting dim. All of a sudden, Charon's pellets closed right, right up. It looked like nothing but a little flower bud. Why, I thought. I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning, when I backed back to check on and cheer them, it was right back in full bloom. It's a flower. They close up, dude. Why did it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works? Or is that change? I saw something different. When he finished cheering his Pokedex entry, let me have a look, would you? Okay, so I gotta find one that looks. Where did he say it was? Heartwood? To bloom or not to bloom? That is the question. <laughs> okay, so that, that's not too hard. So I gotta find and catch it and report a cheer them. And it closed. That's not too bad. I'm going to check my team real quick, see if I can get any new moves. Now I check my moves. Hmm? I can evolve you already? Oh! I didn't know you could um, evolve already. That's amazing! People! Sheiks can evolve! I haven't even got to nickname them yet! Oh, what do I nickname things? I'm terrible at nicknames! Alright, Shinx is ready to evolve! Do it! My first of all! Woo! Alexio! Idea for a new move. Ooh! Huzzah! I'm so proud! <laughs> Alright. I was also told to check out a shop. Right here, yeah. What does he need? Uh, trade. Oh, this is an online thing. That's slightly disappointing. But what was the other thing? Items. Whoa. Okay. Is that what a rare candy looks like in this world? Huh. 
fascinating. Wow, things are expensive. What? Merit points? What are merit points? How, 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 how do I get merit points? Uh... Uh... How do I get items? Oh. Wait, I saw this thing about that. Hold on. Lost and found. I feel like I need an online thing, but I don't have the Nintendo Switch online, nor... Yeah. You're a little creepy, Grandma. <laughs> uh... I think staying good health. Because I'm pretty good at running away. <laughs> but fainting less frequently might actually be good too. Hmm. Any, many, 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 I was in five different colors. Oh, there are different ones? The faint less frequently, I guess. <laughs> Three thousand? Jeez! Was the first one cheap then? Jeez, Grandma. <laughs> You're expensive. Okay, I wonder, do I have to I have to carry it on me? For it to work, or... Okay. <sighs> Alright. Oh, a board. Post on the blackboard. Uh, I suppose Bidoof. Quest 8. So that means... Oh, I can take more. Excellent! It's by being one of the village children. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, my time traveling instincts tell me this is bad. <laughs> no other requests. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a shame I can't take the other um, starters. I haven't been here in so long. I want to explore. Off I go. Okay. Second floor. Eevee! I can't wait to find one of you in the wild. Oh, hello. Radissa. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size for the top one of my pickling pots and have enough to put a nice, firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. But I suppose it would be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. <laughs> oh, Geodude! Really? I actually have one of them! The perfect pickling stone! Radissa, where'd you go? Hold on. Oh, you're over there. <sighs> oh boy. Uh, what happened to five? You seem to be missing a few peoples. <laughs> okay. These two. <laughs> what do you do intend to do about this Cleavor, Commander Commando? 
He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing! We can't sit back and let him rage on! You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back to our, at each other's throats, just like we used to be. Okay, so deep down he doesn't want to fight. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here, there, whatever. <laughs> Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? Okay, now you're just being stubborn. I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. If someone is causing problems, then they... Uh, then your responsibility is to take it down, isn't it? Deity or not. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleavedor into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you have arrived. <laughs> this is Lucas, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Aha, uh -huh. I hear from May you earned oh White Deer's favor. White Deer? Weird Deer? I'm never gonna get these names. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adamin, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamin. You're a nice guy. If you came from beyond the space time rift. Could it be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? Uh, yeah, I imagine I'm from a different time, too, lady. Irinda. I'm Irinda, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. What? Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I'm so sick of these two. <laughs> I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cle Clevedor before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Clevedor? This newcomer with no experience? Hey. Says the leader with almost no experience. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, low blow. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a study of embracing Hisui's fastness without fear. If she's bold, I'll give her that. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid a chance. Gee, thanks. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you Galaxy Vogue really are. With all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Hey, you should like it. It's meddling with space. All my still made it a Sui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. Space has many meanings. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. It's easy, convenient for travel. You don't want them exhausted on a journey, do you? And for their protection, too. You put them in the ball, they're safe. There's no harm to them. We do not use Pokeballs from the desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show, show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Lucas. I order you to study Cleavedor, Cleavor and help us find the truth of this situation. Sir! Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky before us. You are naturally suspicious of your presence here. 
If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to every bone. Oh dear. Frenzy of Lord of the Woods. Well, that's settled. There's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with the Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet yet encountered compared to its strength. Be warned. Oh dear. <clears throat> Alright. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Uesui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans. Understand? Uh, oh. Hey, boss. I, I, I mean, Captain Selene. Join me downstairs, Lucas. We'll discover the details of this new mission. Yes, ma'am. Woo! I'll probably actually dive into that mission next episode. I'm gonna get the details, but then I'm gonna see if I can finish them side quests. Lucas, reporting! Oh, good! You're already here! Professor Lavington, the briefing, if you please. I didn't actually see you there, Professor, sorry. Yes, yes, let's get right into it. So, Lucas, I understand you've been requesting to find out the cause of Cleavor's frenzied state. But as you're well aware now, Cleavor is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security tr corps have tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleavor when we are attacking, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. He seems a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled up. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? <laughs> Not particularly. <laughs> of course. Very well. Then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revered their nobles because they believe these Pokémon serve their almighty Sinnoh. Okay... They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokémon in locations they call Noble Seats. Hmm. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for this Cleavor. Hmm. <laughs> Bye! Lucas, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in the space-time seems like it connects this world to another whole world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space rift, then that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Uh huh, uh huh. I think y'all are getting your D's flipped, but I won't. I think that's time conspiracy spoilers. Think of it! You must have just been swimming in its divine might! Uh. My phone says otherwise. <laughs> well, I've got a favor to ask you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleavor, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly cause a good time, young Edamon. We are discussing our next steps with regarding this whole Cleavor situation. The oh, whole! You must be that Galaxy Team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share of some of that knowledge with me sometime. I like him, he's nice. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. You've heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too. But it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy Team, of all people, for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokémon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown in the same type of frenzy as Cleavor? Oh. 
Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still... We've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokémon. You're the best hope we've got! You'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. How fitting. It's at the very heart of Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Lan? I'm gonna say Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. I like him. He certainly left quickly once he's finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adam and May aren't wrong, though. Wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleavor, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new Heights Camp would be a handy place for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures, too. You'll want to bring the best Pokémon to bring. Hmm. Alright. Like I said, I'm going to get into that next episode. In this episode, I'm just going to see if I can get a few quests done. Because, as it looked like... Uh... I'm actually missing five? 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm missing 8 side quests already. Oh no. I hope I'm not missing them. So let's go hunting weasels. Now, I, now it did say the mission was complete, but he wants me to find a bigger one. Huh? Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you've come across? Satchel always seeming full? If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear for a moment and hear what I have to say! Oh, hello, commercial guy. Well, j as it just so happens, I did run into a satchel problem. I had to drop things. Who wouldn't like more space in their satchel? You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I'll teach you if you like. What do you say? Teach me! I like your initiative. My TGV is an 800... Of course. Ah. Alright, it's not a thousand. Yes, please. Ah, perfect! Lend me your ear a moment. Let me guess, it's going to increase in, in money every time if I want to learn how to increase my satchel size. You've made space to keep more of one kind of item in your satchel! Huzzah! And that's all there is to it. See how much more you can fit in it by packing things rightly. If you want to carry even more things, there's more I can teach you. What do you say? Let's see if the price increases. I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a neat 200, of course. <laughs> okay. Is he going to double or is he going to keep increasing by 100? Once more. Lend me your ear. Let's see. Okay, so he increases by a hundred. That's not too bad. Once more, and then I go. Maybe later. There are times when a single extra item can mean the difference between life or death, you know? Thank you, Baggin. Of course your name's Baggin. That's my Buzzle marker. But there's one here. Excellent. Avin! The Smith. Someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Can I help me out with something? Sure. I'd be very, very grateful if you could help me craft something very with especially I came up with. Why are you shouting? <laughs> so, without do, here's the recipe. Poke she balls? Logs of wood. Oh! Dolls! Okay, I'm assuming they're discretion dolls. Especially on that. Okay. 
Why am I jumping quests? What happened to seven and eight? Ah! Not again. Really? Three? <sighs> I forgot I caught you. <laughs> All right. Apparently they're around town. Many, many minutes later. There you are. Hiding then. Uh, if I was a Bidoof, where would I be? That wasn't really a request. Was that an actual quest? Does that mean I have to talk with everybody? Oh no. If they're not actual things. How can I find them? How hard is it to lose Bidoofs? Jeez, it's like that finding cuckoos all over again. There's one. <laughs> All right. I kind of trust in my ear. If I was a Bidoof, where would I be? You have any idea? No? Okay. Huh? Oh! Huzzah! Found it by accident! Going team, huzzah! Oh, Chalma is in safely in our custody. Now to give him the old heave ho! Hold on! It'd be a shame to just send those Bidoof back into the wild, no? My con construction corps would find a use for him. You want to keep them? But he's not in nibblers or caused so much trouble for the construction corps. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How they supposed to know if our ability is a strict no chewing zone? <laughs> Shows good taste on their part to come all the way here to don our woodwork, no? Uh, but if they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the guts trying to keep getting into our village, plus the teeth to gnash through trees and walks. Just what our core needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know. <laughs> Just what I wanted here. Uh, I'm not convinced this lot having in and doing the honest day's work. This man is watching over them. I'm sure, it'll work out all right. And I guess it's all settled. Thanks again for your help. Number eight, done. Ooh, rare candy. Let's go here. Let get that one done. Ah, they are, Redissa. Yep, here you go. Pickles. <laughs> 
Dude. Request complete. Drift flow. Maybe it's the evolved form. Uh, okay, I know that that's where the Buizel is. Prelude Beach is here, isn't it? Yeah, this is Prelude Beach. Happens in the evening. Do I have to wait? This is the place. I'm not sure what I'm wait looking for. I hear something. Or is that just ambience? Let's actually talk to a few of these kids. There's request five. Okay, so not all requests have markers on them. Oh, that's... Uh, I feel like this is like giving that kid from Twilight Princess the wooden sword. This is gonna end badly, I think. It's probably irresponsible, but... Here, take five Pokeballs. I suppose I'm waiting for time to pass anyway. Identify the child. A few moments later. I'm an idiot! Better way to manipulate time travel than to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, I said evening, so evening should do. Excellent. It is now dark. All right, off I go. See, it shows up during when the time occurs. I knew this old building would come into play somehow. Drifting won't let me go. Uh huh. Drifloom! Why don't you have a seat right here? Can you help me, please? Easy there, buddy. <sighs> mean to be bad. Yeah, you really shouldn't be playing with that. It's not a balloon. <sighs> that could have gone so badly. Small, if you please. Oh, never mind. Why are things so expensive? Well, you're from trying to take a kid. I agree. Hmm. 
All right, let's check the quests. Sort. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I'm still missing nine, ten, and eleven. And sixteen. Uh, I wonder if those are different day things. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's try Nightfall. Maybe there's some quests there. Hmm. There's one. Official one, at least. Hmm. That's good advice. Throwing Pokeballs is all well and good. Just don't throw away your life, kid. Canala Bridge. You've been standing here all day. I have a feeling I'm gonna get something from you one of these days. Yeah, that's happening here too. Swana. Can't get a good night's sleep like this. Don't scare me like that! Sorry, was something wrong? No, everything's fine. Whatever you need, come back later, alright? Mark, you alright? Uh, maybe a survey core type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in McCorris trying to sleep at night, it feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. I found burnt berries a couple times, and once in a while, I hear something clattering. So, go over my quarters. Figure out what's happening. Uh, okay. A little weird. Alright. Just do it at night, would you? I gotta work. be at work during the day. Uh, okay. Is this your place? Yep, I'm ready. Burnt berries. to check everything. Hmm? There's a faint smell. Seems like berries have been present here. There's a noise from the entryway. and a cape inside. Okay. Mm. Slightly, slightly jars if they were recently moved. Suspicious. Architecture models. Ooh! There's a model with a Gyarados sculpture on top. Early model for Galaxy Hall. How nice. Draped over the mirror. Draw it back. What, what happened? Nothing happened. Reveal yourself! Thank you. 
Aha! This is different. Why? A Pichu? <sighs> of course. Sparks, berries. It heats them up. Yeah, I should have guessed. Could it be? It might not serve, but I think this might be the Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. Oh, I see. It's repaying you. Pew! <laughs> A grateful little Pichu. Yeah. certain there's probably something one of these days. Alright. One, four, five, six. I need to find nine. I wonder where nine is. Let's go to morning and see what becomes of it. Alright. We're off on a weasel hunt. Ah, the sun is shining. Lovely. Alright. How are things, my good friend? You again. I haven't been able to find you after these cutscenes, you know? I certainly hope you're playing that secret backstrike thing I got taught you to good use. Yeah, it hasn't been working for me, actually. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh. Think nothing of it. Having Survey Corps out and about selling Pokemon is a great is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Uh thanks. Super potions. A hundred. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Ruins. Alright. I'm off to find a big weasel. There's missions out in the field, too? Oh, no. So where is that, then? Right here. You? Or you? Well, it has to be you. Where's the springy one? No, you! I'm sorry, lady. Yo! Didn't see you there. Just person I need. A uh, cricket tote. There's eleven. I'm on the hunt for weasels. I guess I'm looking for a spring mushroom too. Does that say where it is? No, it doesn't. Okay. Should find them along the river. I wish I had a mini map. Big, you know. Hmm. You're not that big either. 
Hmm. <gasps> Evie! Excuse me. I need to catch that Evie. Maybe it'll respawn. Hmm? Hey, Aponita! Ooh. One minute, thirty-seven seconds later. for my Pokemon. I know I should come up on my own, but I'm terrible with names. Uh... I suppose I'll try catching you. Water type will probably knock you out. Uh, why don't I try a berry first? You guys are wondering why I'm not fighting the birds. Well, mainly because they run away. I think it's more trouble than they're worth. And I'm on a quest to find weasels. And recipes. And mushrooms. Rapidash, that's what it's called. I found a m rabid ma rapidash. <laughs> rabid rapidash. That's a good name. I think 
I'll try to avoid it for now. If it manages to spot me, I'll see what its level is with Oshawott. Let's take this one down. Ooh. That was actually very close. Why don't we give it the honor? Huzzah! Numbers caught. Excellent. Ponita, I must have discovered their nest. I'll leave them be if they leave me be. I'm just on a uh, hunt for now. Yeah, I'm hunting for weasels, not really Ponita. I wonder if that request means I have to actually find that Floatzel. And bring that back. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You're not all that bigger either. Sorry guys, I'm looking for something a little bit bigger than you. You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. But it left me no choice. Woo. Hmm, I doubt I can cross that with my swimming ability. Six and a half hours later. Hmm, you're not that big either. Hmm, I'll have to cross the stream. Mine's actually bigger than yours. Huh. There's that one there. And I know he's definitely bigger. Whoa! 
why. You want to fight? I'll give you a fight. Surrounded. For us to run. Come on! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! There you go, bud. No, there, there you go. That seems like the spot to be hunting for big weasels. be that difficult to find. I don't know. I shouldn't actually be even around here because I'm supposed to find it somewhere else. Maybe I'm not looking in the right spot. Here is where they seem to be most common. Yeah. 3.28 a.m.
Caesar. That finishes that, I think. Staravia. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, let's find that weasel. That one's certainly big. Try. Junior. I think it is. Now, if only I could find a giant weasel. Now, this is Horseshoe Plains. This is where I found all them Rapidash. There's weasels. You're not all that big either. But I'll defeat you nonetheless. you out of your misery. No wonder there's something wrong. Am I supposed to defeat a certain number of them and then a big one spawns? Just Badoof. <sighs> I 
I saw an Eevee and it ran away. Big Snorlax. Well, I can't fight him. No. I'm gonna try the beach one more time. find anything bigger. Maybe I have to just go back and check. I'll see if it's bigger. I guess it was bigger. Whew. I 
guess I had it all along. <sighs> Bye. <laughs> there I was, all searching for nothing. But I have to get a cut that all out. Springy mushroom. Where would that be? Maybe the store has it. Nope. Alright, bub. Where are springy mushrooms? Need to find mushrooms? Uh, I'd probably find them here, actually. Uh, sorry, folks. I forgot that my system was paused. So, what you didn't see was me catching a Butterfree. I'm still hunting for mushrooms and Chiridums, though. I'll let you back in when I find one. This is the boring part of open world. Actually trying to find things. Especially when you don't know the world that you're in. Look, crazy bird, I don't want trouble with you. You survived. I'm impressed. Gave you the chance. And now you hurt my Luxro. Luxro. Ah, I should have killed you when I had a chance. of deer here. Well, oh, it's deer track heights. I suppose they are around here. Okay, I give up trying to hunt for a mushroom. I'll find one next time. So I'm going to finish at least one request. Yes, report results. Evan! Amazing! Just like a movie, you've these cars! 
You are doing your covering shows, you put love and care into your handiwork. These colors, you're doing good in favorite look, that's for sure. Yes, he is with in very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention, the bucket does perfectly balanced. My guys, you think you should fall over? Yes, so your mains upright. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh. Phew. Thank you. I savored your bookie doll to my heart's content. We use the same recipe, yet yeah, yours seems to be a different feel from mine. Here, I'll give you a doll I made. Took Garrett and Griffith it. Now look, see how it differs from the one you made. I made one to get one. Okay. Alright, people. Thanks for sticking around. I think maybe next... Uh, next... Uh, no. Next episode, we are going into our missions. The Frenzy of the Lord... Lord of the Woods. <laughs> and then maybe we'll do another... Uh, I'm going to see if I can get another few quests. And then... See if I can find a mushroom. Please, help me in the comments down below where I can find those. Same for as a Cheerium. I haven't seen one of those yet. Saving. Alright. I'm Lucas. See ya! Sometimes it's hard to know Which way you're supposed to go But deep inside You know you're strong If you follow your